The man who sexually assaulted a woman in Far North Dallas Park at a Far North Dallas Park is still on the loose. Police don't have much more than a vague description for the man who a woman said attacked her while she was walking through Katie Jackson Park. It happened late last night near the apartments in the 4900 block of Haverwood Lane. Fox Horse Payne Yeager spoke with nearby residents who are surprised something like this happened in their neighborhood. Dallas police put out a community awareness push asking for any information leading to an arrest of this violent sexual assault. It's still unclear if the woman lived nearby, but people I spoke with say this park attracts people from all over. As the sun sets at Katie Jackson Park Saturday evening, Dallas police load up to patrol the walking trails. As a woman, it's something to be conscious of. It's also the time of day Rachel Melanson says it's time to go home. It's really unfortunate that, I mean, no matter what time it is, bad things can happen. Dallas detectives are working to track down a man who sexually assaulted a woman late Friday evening off Haverwood Lane. Police say around 11 p.m. the woman was walking through Katie Jackson Park when a man in a black hoodie overpowered her, sexually assaulted her, and then took off. Police are only describing the suspect as a black male, 45 to 50 years old, with a black beard and noticeable gray hair. Investigators are hoping any information from the public will help. I saw police back in through the, the park here all, the, all throughout the day, so we wondered what was going on. Officers were seen canvassing the crime scene all day Saturday, backing up to woods, homes, and apartments. Michael Van Boven and his family previously lived near Katie Jackson Park. Obviously terrible. Um, obviously, you never want that in your community. District 12 Council Member Kara Mendelson tells Fox 4 this specific area has been a focus spot for Dallas police, equipped with a crime response team. Mendelson says even though this incident is alarming, crime has gone down in her district due to extra patrol from police in October and overnight watch from local marshals. Dallas police say this is a very sensitive investigation with a search underway. Meanwhile, investigators are asking those nearby to be on high alert. But Melanson says for her, it's second nature. Yeah, always looking over my shoulder. And if I have my AirPods in and I'm running, one AirPod is out because I need to be able to hear if something's going on behind me. Dallas police say they aren't aware of any other incidents like this in the area. While they're asking for information, they're also asking for people to be aware of their surroundings, especially at night. Peyton Yeager, Fox 4 News.